What's going on, y'all? Mad Dad is back in this Mad Den. Here to talk about Mad Den. And yes, it is the final episode in the Power Up Pass series. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day. As always, if this is your first time watching, please, on that road to 1,000 subscribers, you can help me on that road. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, and yes, you will get all the madness from Mad Dad as he gives it to you on Madden 21 and beyond. So again, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day. So, we've talked about power-up passes. And again, I'm going to say it in all the episodes. The most important thing you can do is either grab yourself an old-school notepad or put it on the notes in your phone, which I do because we always have our phone with us, and type in all your power-up passes and who you have them on. That way, you can find them very quickly if you need them back. So, I'm going to say it again. Keep track of those power-up passes. Put them on a notepad. Put them on the notes in your phone. Do something. Just make sure you don't lose them. Because it's the worst to waste training and coins trying to search for those power-up passes late in the year when all you want to do is power up a player when it could be all so simple, guys. So again, please keep track of those power-up passes. Now, back to the lecture at hand. We are talking about the 87-88 power-up pass. And if you've reached level 50, you have yourself one of these power-up passes. And... <clears throat> You know, there's a lot of great players you can use this on in this game right now. You know, we got oh, not only the core elites, the higher core elites you can use. We also have, you know, the team builders that also have some 87s and 88s in there that you can use those on. So, let's go ahead and dive right in to the equation. I can tell you right now, um, this is one of those passes, again, that you're going to want to monitor... The card that you use it for, obviously, if you use it on Aaron Donald, you want to watch Aaron Donald's price. And if he drops down to a to a lower price, buy him and get your power up pass back. Put him back in there, take him out. I tell you, that's the you have to do that with all your power up passes. It's the way to keep them. It's the way to keep them fresh and have them ready to use whenever you need them. So it's another piece of advice I said that you guys should do. Now let's jump over to the first to 87s. We're gonna cycle down through a lot of 86s because oh, here's the 87s. We got Russell Wilson. Again, those are, anyone under 100K, I'm not even going to, I mean, obviously you could use them on one of these guys, but there, it's, I mean, Julio, um, I'm sorry, DeAndre Hopkins, all these guys are less than uh, 100K. You know what I mean? Rich Gannon, Robert Porsche, you know, Max Strong, a lot of these early, um, Kyle Williams, a lot of these um, team builders, they are, you know, they're not very expensive. You drop down to the more expensive 87. Now you're talking Adrian Wilson. This team builder is a very highly sought after team builder. And I'll tell you why. First of all, he's got 86 speed and he's six foot three. Not to mention he has 87 hip power. Um, great zone coverage, great pursuit, great card right here. If you didn't pick up Isaiah Simmons, this guy is who you need in your secondary. You know, there's also, you know, if you're a budget beast in this area, it'll be Terrell Edmonds. But um I think Adrian Wilson is, is a great use for this 87 power-up pass if you really need somebody like this on your on your secondary. If you already have Isaiah Simmons, you're like, ow, oh, you already bought Adrian Wilson or doing the Team Diamonds, and obviously you can use it on someone else, but he's not a bad choice. He's a great user. Um, Elvis Dumervall is another one. He's a little short for, I mean, I like my, I guess my, my outside linebacker would be a little bit taller. But he does got good speed and pursuit. I mean, you can take a look at him. He's one of that... Um, a lot of people have have as their left outside linebacker right now. Khalil Mack, you know, uh, other people have. But um, there's not a lot of good pass rushers. You know, pure pass rushers with speed in the game right now. So I would probably not waste mine on him. Let's jump to the 88s. I think you can find the ones that we really want in here. Tyreek Hill is another 87, obviously. Um, he's at the very bottom. I don't want to go all the way down there. These, again, are, are cheap for 88, so I don't know if I would use them on any of these 88s in the first couple layers. You know, even Roddy White. You know, 88s, we're talking, when we want to start using these this 88 power-up pass, you're talking Aaron Donald. You know, 180K. You know, you're talking, you know, again, my home numbers are cheaper. Dre Bly. You know, these ones are more expensive. That's who I'm thinking. I think the top three... That you could use these on would probably be in my opinion Aaron Donald 
Tyree Kill, and Adrian Wilson. Those are the three that I think will make the biggest impact on your team. I personally have mine on Tyree Kill. Um, I do have Aaron Donald as well, though. If I didn't have it on Tyree, if I didn't have it on Tyree Kill, I'd have it on Aaron Donald because Aaron Donald is just such a great card to have in the game. I play him a defensive tackle because he's better than any ever defensive tackle. Plus he has, plus he's faster. You know, and so Aaron Donald's car is always such a glitch. Plus he gets out of position cam at defensive tackle as well. So I do say, as I sip on some coffee there, so early in the morning, but I do say that Aaron Donald is a must-have on your defensive line right now. There's not a lot of good defensive linemen you're going to have. You're going to get shredded if you don't have somebody that can get back there and get some pressure and put, and, you know, and and, and and make the people and, and make them make quick reads. So Aaron Donald is another is a good one. Tyreek Hill. I mean, he plays a little bit different this year. Last, he's always been about speed. We all know that he's got the 90 speed. But his catching this year seems so much better. I mean, he his spectacular catch, his catch over the middle. His running, once he gets the ball and takes off with it, he just feels like a very good card this year. He feels like the best receiver in the game to me so far. And I played with, you know, obviously we've got the uh, Andre Johnson and the, um, I got Keenan McCardell as well. And um, Tyree Kill just blows him out of the water with speed, with his route running. He just feels like a very, <clears throat> very good pure card. So I would definitely, if you need a receiver, Need some speed. He also can return punts too, so you don't have to go out there and chase Dante Hall if you don't need to. But um, Tyreek Hill is a really good card, as always. As you guys know, his power up is expensive, but that's why you power up pass. Costs you nothing. So, Adrian Wilson. You know, he, uh, Grant, he's a great user, great, strong safety, top, six foot three. You know, you pair him with, um, um, What's the guy from Grant Pitt from the from uh, Cleveland? You got some giant safeties back there, but uh, obviously Isaiah Simmons. You go into a nickel package, and you have some really giant safeties back there. But Adrian Wilson is a card that everybody wants right now. I would definitely, I don't think it's a great use of that power up pass. But again, guys, the most important thing is to monitor these things. You know, like I said, Tyree Kill was going for so much when I put it on. I think it was going for like maybe 300k. When I when I when I use my power up pass on him, power up still going for 116. He's going for 250. So he's still for an 87. That's that's an expensive use there. And when you go Aaron Donald, and we saw him he was like 180, right? So again, his his power up is a lot cheaper, about half price. But yeah, 190. So I would, I mean. Obviously, Adrian Wilson is a good one. If you guys are doing um, theme, Team Diamonds, you'll end up getting him, obviously, to get to the Barry set. But Tyree Kill and Aaron Donald, probably the top two. If not, take one of those. That's what I think. Right now in the game, if you have one, use it on one of those. But again, monitor the prices of those. They drop down to get to be priced similarly with the other 87s or 88s. Then you buy it and get your power-up pass back. That's what I have for you today, guys. Final series on the, 80s, on the, on the power-up passes. Now we get back to what we should be doing right now, grinding levels. That's what we should be doing. Get as many coins as you can. Let's get this team ready to compete. Have a great day. Please subscribe. Mad Dad is out. Peace.